Sam the Cooking Guy is one of the most popular and followed shows right here on your view. He's an everyday guy who loves cooking and making easy recipes to follow. He also has an online show and three cookbooks. Sam's latest venture is taking his recipes out of this kitchen. Take a look. I'm Sam the Cooking Guy. <laughs> this show is about food that's big in taste and small in effort. Sam the Cooking Guy has been, has been cooking on TV for 17 years. And everything that I've done, really, and continue to do, is sort of pretty easy stuff. I'm not a trained chef, so my theory was if I could make it simple enough, people would watch and they would go, wow, that looks good, but easy, and I can also make that. But we want enough liquid to be most of the way up the pork, right? Well, when people say to me, I've learned to cook from you, I cannot get a warmer feeling in my heart. I really can't, it's the best thing ever. Look at the burgers, they're about halfway done. What do they get now? They get a flip. My partners who built the Little Italy Food Hall came to be first not because of the restaurant idea, but to be maybe the marketing face of the Little Italy Food Hall. So while we were exploring that relationship, I said one day, I've got this idea for a little taco shop. Tacos, but not Mexican inspired. But these are things like pastrami, smoky pulled pork with macaroni and cheese, Asian salmon, that, you know, Korean short rib, that kind of stuff. And I do the food, the recipes, the inspiration, I'm the face, the, the brand. It's a really great partnership. We would talk about what the tacos were going to be to people, and occasionally people would say, well, wait a second, not carne asada, not uh, chorizo, not uh, uh, anything Mexican. Well, are they tacos or aren't they? We'd say, well, they're not not tacos, and it just means that all you need is a tortilla. That's it. But literally things that I've been making at home in slightly yeah. different forms. You've got onion, you've got this drippy yolk, the egg, the pastrami, the crunchies. Oh, bon appetit. Thought we'd show you how to make uh, one of my favorite tacos here, and certainly my wife's favorite taco, the Kelly shrimp. It's very good. And it goes together like that, which is the way I like to cook. So we'll get some heat under our wok. While it's heating up, we'll give it just a little avocado oil. Pan's now hot, in go the shrimp. But you can see they're starting to get some we're starting to get some color in here, and it's only been a couple of seconds. So we're gonna leave those. Now we'll start to build the tortilla. We start with one of our custom flour tortillas. Down it goes. We'll put our sauce on this, and this is a combination of chipotle pepper, sour cream, and lime. And now for some crunch, some beautiful purple shredded cabbage, and that will go on like this. The one thing we add in the pan is Old Bay seasoning. Stir around a little bit more. We come over to our tortilla, and on we go. This gets two more things to complete. It gets a lime wedge, and then a little micro cilantro for a beautiful little green touch right at the end. This is a Kelly's shrimp taco made, made by me, the husband of Kelly. The beautiful shrimp, the sauce, the crispy cabbage, all the components of this lovingly thought out by me. I named it after my wife, it had to be lovingly, right? 